who's been in three All England finals, including earlier this year. Actually won the All England title in 2018, the first year of the HSBC BWF World Tour. And that was only his second appearance at the All England Championships, having been in the final on his debut. Here he is, the former world number two. Lost in the quarterfinal of the recent World Championships in Copenhagen. Lost out to the man he beat in the quarterfinal yesterday. And good to see Lu Guangxu back in good form after some injury problems. He was bronze medalist at the Asian Championships in Dubai earlier this year. Lost out to Loka Yu in the semi-final in Dubai. And Loka Yu then lost in the final. Now I can tell you this will be an eighth meeting between these two players. Of the previous seven, Shi Yu Chi has won six of them, including the last five. The last time they played, as you can see, it was three winning games. That was in the quarter-final of the Korean 500 earlier this year. So, Shi Yu Chi has won the toss of the point and has chosen to start the more difficult end. And it's interesting that the three semi-finals uh, this, the third in this evening session, the players who've won the toss of the coin have all chosen to start the more difficult end. Hu Guangzhou will turn 27 next month. He's from Shouzhou in Jiangsu province. And he's apparently the third ranked Chinese player. He's supposed to today. And Shifang, currently 15. But did spend nine weeks at number 10. That uh, was at the end of January earlier this year. He beat Ang Kalong in the first round and then the All England champion, Li Shi Fang. And then needed three games to beat Kanta Suniyama, who, as I was mentioning, beat former champion at Ginting in the first round. Hour and seven minutes for that quarter final yesterday. Uh, but uh, Shi Yu Chi had an even longer quarter final yesterday, which I'll tell you about in a moment. He's 27 years of age from Nantong in Jiangsu province, not that far away from where we are now. Currently number five on the world ranking, but did spend a total of 52 weeks across three different spells as world number two. beat two Danes in the first two rounds, Magnus Johannesson, two straight games, then Rasmus Gemka needed three games there. And the quarter-final, he beat the man who beat him in the quarter-final of the World Championships, Odai Narooka. That was an hour and 25 minutes. Ready to play. And in the deciding game against Naraoka, he was 12-10 up and uh, then lost six consecutive points. 12-16 down, 15-18 down. Uh, but it's when you finish off the match that really matters and you finished it extremely well. So uh, both of our court officials from China, Peng Haining and Guo Wei Liang.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Shi Yuqi, China. And on my left, Lu Guangzhu, China. Shi Yuqi is a level play. So, interestingly, Lu Guangzhu chose to receive because I am absolutely certain Shi Yu Chi chose ends having won the toss of the coin. And that's wide. And I can't help but wonder Same whether over, the hour and 25 minutes long. against Kodai Naraoka yesterday, whether that's taken its toll on Shi Yu Chi. There is over two all. Oh, well, that was a miss hit. Uh, but it ended up as a very, so very effective three, shot. Two. Block. Oh, that's amazing defense initially. Service over three oh. Shi Yu Chi seemed to stay in the dive position. We're not seeing it the dive, but uh, stay there until he saw that the shuttle was going over. Certainly did go over. There is over four, three. Somebody using a flashlight. Something's disturbing. Lu Guangzhu.
Yeah, that's good placement from Liu Guangfu. Deep into the forehand corner of Xi Yuqi. Oh, he was looking incredibly tired, understandably, at the end of his quarterfinal against Kodai Naraoka. I think emotionally he was probably fairly drained as well, apart from the physical effort. And as I was saying a moment ago, I wonder if that's going to affect him today. Looked a bit sluggish there. Deflected by the net court. Seven, four. Clever. Good body smash from Liu Guangxu. And this is five straight points. A yeah, very good body smash. Perfect net shot. Five, four. Six straight points. <laughs> Missed it. Seven straight points. Ten, four. Well, the last time that Lu Guangzhou, and the only time, that's found the line, that Lu Guangzhou has beaten his opponent of today was at the China Super 1000 here in Changzhou, the last edition of this event, which was back in 2019. And he won, uh, dropping only 14 points in total. 21-5, 21-9. That was in the very first round. When Xi Chi was the number three seed. Six, ten. I think almost certainly there must have been something wrong with Xi Chi that day. Not well or injured. In fact, I think it may have been when he was coming back from his ankle surgery. Needed to play a tournament. Seven, he wasn't really ten. fit. Needed to play a tournament for his world ranking, I suspect. That's a Seven beautiful four, smash for Liu Guangzhou. And it is the lower of the ranked players. Liu Guangzhou, who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. Four-point advantage. And of course, no coaching staff involved because both players from China. And they don't want to show favoritism.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Eleven, seven, play. Another super smash from Lu Guanzhou. I think that Xi Yuqi needs to up his pace a bit. Pace of movement rather than pace of shot. Nice. Now, yeah, that's the problem from this near side. Forty seven. Finds the line. That is absolutely superb. Seven over a fifteen. Oh, good block. Yeah. That's a delightful angle on the backhand from Lu Guangzhou. He was there. Now you see, that to eight. me is a mental fatigue. If you've made the physical effort to get to the net early, it's so frustrating if you then make the error. Well, you make the error because of that mental and emotional fatigue. Seven so over my 17.
That's great defense. Lu Guangxu. So agile. Very, very good defensively. And he's just three points away from this opening game. Just wide. Make that two points away from the opening game. 19, nine. Maybe after all of his efforts yesterday, Shi Yu Chi is feeling that from this near side of the courts, it's too difficult to win, and his strategy is to go all out for the second game from the better end from which to play. And of course, in the third game, he'll only have to play half the game from the difficult end. Or maybe he's just too exhausted from yesterday's match. That's a strong possibility. Game point opportunities for Lu Guangzhou. Service over. 10, 20. Well, I think it's really just a case of making this opening game scoreline a little more respectable. You have to play completely error-free when your game points down. Well, this is four straight points. Opening game on his fifth game point opportunity. Lu Guangzhou takes the opening game against Xi Yu Qi. 21 13 in 18 minutes. Yeah, that was a tired looking shot, that final shot from Xi Yu Qi.
seconds. Fourteen seconds. Move on, move on, Take the game, level, play. Well, it was interesting in that two-minute timeout. Shi Yu Chi was shaking his legs, trying to stretch. He is definitely feeling the after-effects of that fantastic quarter-final yesterday against Kodai Navarroka, which lasted an hour and 25 minutes. Well, but quite well. frankly, whether he's feeling a little stiff or not. I don't think he would have got back that smash, even if he was as fresh as a daisy. Yeah, it was a wonderful smash from Liu Guangzhou. Service so over. Missed it. Missed by a whisker. There is over two one. Yeah, that's missed as well. Three one. Got to keep the scores tight in this second game, Shi Yu Chi. Otherwise, his opponent, Lu Guangzhou, will grow more and more in confidence. There. Yeah. Four, what? Looks a spent force to me at the moment, Shi Yu Chi. Another fabulous smash, my goodness, he had to move back quickly Boy, to get what? behind that. That's great placement and a great angle. Save it over, two, five. Oh, lucky neck cord. Save it over, six, two. Yeah, I think he's got to try a 
can command the rallies a little bit more, dictate the pace, Shiyuchi. He's been a little too reactive, in my opinion. Yeah, that's better. And that. Oh, but that's a lovely block. Series over. Seven, three. It was a super net shot for this man. Forced the short lift. Got the net called on that net shot, Lu Guangzhou. And this is very worrying times if you're a Xiu Chi fan. Well, called for the tournament referee and the deputy referee, Yaolian Na from Malaysia. He's coming on with one of the medical team. Yeah, he's got that thigh heavily strapped. He was wearing strapping on that. He's taking off the strapping now. His thigh muscles seem to be a problem to him. Well, he was wearing strapping on both legs yesterday, but he's ripped it all off. Yeah, he's down on his haunches as well, trying to stretch out. Well, A, two, three, three game matches play. over the last two days seems to have taken its toll on Xiu Ji. There is over four Hey. over by four. back line and hopefully that will give him there some encouragement because at the Why? moment this all seems rather one-way traffic Great retriever of the shuttle. Five. And if Xi Chi is not feeling physically that good, and then he will know that his opponent will just run and run and run. Probably running out of ideas as to what he's going to try next. Yeah. To the mid game interval. And it's a six-point advantage for Lu Guangzhou. Quite 
frankly. Unless Chiu Chi finds some energy from somewhere. Well, I don't see a way back. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven. Five. So is there Play. anything left in the tank of Xi Wu Chi? He's just Seven really over. struggling to get Lu Guang Chu Seven. out of position. Yeah, and look at his reaction after that. Stretching his legs again. That's a super smash. Well, this man, Lu Guang Chu. Oh, he's eight. challenging. Oh, I don't think he'll win that challenge. I saw that as as a good smash. was a good smash. Challenge I didn't realise it was that close, though. One challenge remaining. Yeah, I was going to say, Lu Guangzhou has never been in a 30, World Tour seven, Tournament play. Final above a 300 level. This is his first semi-final. In fact, yesterday was his first quarter-final at a Super 1000. This is still possible, only five points in it. off the body. Shuffle goes past him. In fact, he does a full pirouette before looking to see where his defensive shot had gone. Save it over. 14. Five.
Yeah, good shot. Save it over. 10, 14. He's moving quickly. Is this man? Move Wong Chu. Semi silver, 50, 10. Well, Lu Guang Chu hasn't been in any final for 10 months. His last final was the Australian Open Super 300 event last year. as wide. Time is running out for Xi Yu Chi. 60, 10. Service so over, 11, 16. Yeah, another one off the body. That time it drops long of the back line. Seven over, seventeen, Charles. He's had a couple of those in this match. A Pete Charles. Three points away from a first ever final above a 300 level on the world tour. Lu Guangzhou. Yeah, that was loose. Save it over. 13, 18. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen him really rush the net. 14, 18. But is it too little, too late? Very good follow-up. Oh, dear. Service error. There is service over. error in Mind the entirety of this Ball match. Team. Nice. Match point opportunities. One team. For those one, two. 
and his own little personal piece of history. What a huge leap forward this will be in his career. Our first ever final at Super 1000 level. First final above 300 level. That's gone long. 21-13, 21-14. And Lu Guangzhou is through to the men's singles final where he will play against the Olympic champion and world number one. Victor Axelson in tomorrow's final. Yeah, he was a spent force today. He said in interview after his quarter final victory over Kodai Naraoka uh, that he was absolutely exhausted. And it was, look at his movement there going into the net. It was quite obvious there was huge fatigue in his legs. But all credit to this man, he played very fast today, very sharp, and thoroughly deserved his victory. So confirmation of the scoreline, Lu Guangzhou through to the final, beating his teammate Xi Yu Qi, 21-13, 21-14 in a match lasting 41 minutes. Welcome back to Changzhou for semi-finals day here at the Victor China Open. Two more semi-finals to come and they're the two men's doubles. And the first of those features the 2021 world champions, Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi, the number five seeds from Japan. And they're up against the bronze medalist from the recent world championships in Copenhagen, Liang Wei and one chunk of China. Well, at quarter-final stage, we had six seeds and six different nationalities. Two pairs from China, two from Malaysia. The two Chinese pairs played each other and the two Malaysian pairs played each other. Which means that at semi-final stage, we've got five different nationalities and uh, four seeds. But what's interesting in the semi-finals is that three pairs have won World Championship gold. Hoki and Kobayashi won in 2021. Aaron Char and Soe Ik won the gold at the World Championships last year. And Kang and So Siang Jae, well, they won the World Championship gold medal just a couple of weeks ago. So what a strong lineup for semi-finals in the men's doubles. It really is absolutely stunning. 